All right then. So now we're going to look at wheel joints. And wheel joints are added in the same way. We put the cursor somewhere, we select body A and then body B and so on. Um, and I think for this example we will make a little car and we will use body A to be the chassis of the car and body B can become the wheel. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't be silly. Uh, we'll make a new body for the wheel. So let's do that first. Um, cursor goes here. Body with circle fixture. And I think I'll scale it down just a little bit, move it there. Body B, you can go away. And we should make this body a dynamic body too, shouldn't we? Okay. So now we have these bodies like this. And we need to add a wheel joint. So one way we can add a wheel joint, and most commonly the thing that is attached to the wheel joint is going to be a circle like this. So pretty much every time, I would think, we want to have the center rotating local anchor B of the wheel joint in the middle of our wheel. So one way we can do that is select the body and do CS to move the cursor, which is here at the moment. We'll do CS and that will move the cursor to the middle of the wheel. And that's going to be where the wheel joint is initially placed. So now we select our body to be body A and that should be the one that's going to be the, uh, if you're making a vehicle, it would be like the body of the vehicle and body B will be the rotating one. So the axis of the wheel joint will be uh, set relative to body's, body A's frame of reference. So we select body A, and then body B, and then we use our spacebar menu here to choose wheel. And then if we go into joint mode, you'll see we have a wheel joint here and that's connected to there with body uh, that's body A and we can see a vertical line a dash line showing the axis of this wheel joint and the default axis is vertical uh, when you add a wheel joint I've, I figured that was most likely to be the most common configuration when people are adding wheel joints so if we just look at, I'll select that and then we'll look at the properties here. We can see uh, we have some properties here. The first three properties are the same as for revolute joints. So we can enable a motor, give it some torque and a speed. And then local axis, as I just mentioned, is 0, 1 is the default. And for frequency and damping ratio, we have a couple of common settings there uh, to make sort of a, a vehicle like behavior. So Let's just run that and see how that goes just immediately after we've added the joint without changing anything else. So that's kind of a, a car suspension, sort of a arrangement like that. And that's, um, that's all we're really going to do for this uh, video because that's the, at least for this car, that's all we really need. But we should also look at duplicating that to make another joint. And if you're going to be doing this, um, it's best to set up the body and the joint like we just did here for the wheel. And if you remember from one of the earlier videos, when we duplicate a body, the joints that are connected to that body also get duplicated. So we can use Shift D to duplicate this body. And then I'm going to also hit X to constrict it to the horizontal axis then I'm going to move it over here and place it there now back in joints mode we should see that we have also duplicated a joint for this but because we are only duplicating one body the joint anchor for the body that we were connected to which is the body A up there has been left at the original position. So to fix that we can select this joint and then use the T key to 
translate and now we are translating the uh, local anchor A of the wheel joint and you can see from these uh, joint markers here the local anchor A is a square and the marker for the other one there this one is circular so that signifies that this body is the one that's going to be spinning and the square signifies that this body is not going to be spinning well relatively uh, it's not going to be the one that spins it's not the wheel part of the joint and this also has the axis marker attached to it the green dashed line there and once again we can see we have a red dashed line showing us how disjoint the current configuration is so if we were to put this here that would mean that when we run the simulation this wheel joint is going to be quite violently pulled across here until it matches this location so let's put it somewhere a little bit more sensible and probably what you might also want to do if I let just under undo that for a second when you translate this you might want to also hit the X key to restrict the joint translation to the horizontal axis okay so now if we put that there and run this we should see we have quite a nice little suspension uh, set up there okay and just before we finish this um, this axis here as I said is default uh, defaults to 0 1 so it's vertical and it's fixed in the axis of body A so if we I'll just come back here for a second you can see that as body A turns around the axis is moving with body A like this stays relative to bodies A's frame of reference and we can change the orientation of this axis by selecting the joint and hitting R uh, if we hit R one time we will be rotating the anchor A and we're rotating around the cursor here at the moment uh, we could also rotate around the selection center but let's just keep it around the cursor so that's one time pressing R if I press R again now we're rotating the local anchor B and for wheel joints there's a third mode here if I press R again now I'm rotating the axis of a wheel so I could set this wheel axis to be a little bit more uh, in line with the side of the A like that and over here I could set this wheel joint if I hit R three times now I'm rotating this joint axis and I can make that like so so these wheels will now be sort of pressing inwards a little bit when they land um, I hope that's obvious what I'm trying to say there but as I pull this body down the wheels slide more in line with the the legs of the A so that's wheel joints and we only have one more joint to cover at least for the current uh, joints available in Rube and that is prismatic joints so check out the next video for that thank you